Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar, my little corner of the internet where we talk about everything from mental health and fashion to beauty and fungal acne. Today I wanted to take you guys um, through the makeup look that I'm going to be doing for New Year's Eve this year. Practicing <laughs> practicing it today, gonna wear it on New Year's Eve to the party that I go to. Um, and I'm gonna kinda keep it simple. I want it to be like dark and smoky and fab, um, but also like super festive. So we're gonna go with some navy blue and some gold. Um, I've already done my skin for this video, which I will also link um, right now. And this is just my simple dewy skin routine. And I'm going to be using my Eye Dust by Medusa's Makeup in Golden Boy for this look, as well as the Eyeliner Seal. And then I'm also going to be dipping into my Color Tattoo Pot in the color Trailblazer. And as usual, I'm going to use something that I always use on almost every single video, which is my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Palette, because I like to sculpt out the shape that I'm going to do on my eyes lightly in brown before I put dark pigments like a navy blue onto my actual eye. Because if you put those down without kind of figuring out, mapping out your plan first, you can go wrong so, so quickly. All right, you guys. So to start out, I am going to dip into the color Sculpting Light. Um, in my Kevin Aquan palette with this fluffy brush by Real Techniques. Very gently, I'm just gonna start kind of, you know, carving out the outer edges. I'm gonna do my classic kind of, uh, you know, winged out type of a shape. So I just wanna go up to the edge of my eyebrow right here with the shape and then bring it back in and I'm gonna bring it back in about midway. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. These are both going to be like a creamy or wet texture. So I'm going to start with the darker color because I can put the gold pigment. It's so wet and so pigmented once you get it with this eyeliner seal that it'll pretty much go over anything, over the top of anything. Okay, I'm going to take this Pro Gel Liner Brush that I got at Sephora many moons ago. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but if you want it, it's the eyeliner gel number 26. Um, and I'm going to dip this into this pot. As I've told you before, I have semi-hooded eyes, so I don't want to pull it real top, but just to kind of hold my skin in place will make me feel more stable. And I've got my elbow against my chest, nice and tight. And I'm gonna start just carving out the edge. So once I have the edge carved out, I'm just gonna start filling it in. And on the edge, I wanna keep it nice, clean it up some um, and I've already made a mistake but you can kind of wipe it away when it's this early in and then I'll use concealer later to clean some of this up um, okay and I'm gonna start to bring that over and in um, to kind of create the shape that I'm looking for and I've got to kind of like look with my eye more relaxed in this because I want to not get too I'm getting a little orbital and and like big and rounded and I don't really want that I want it to be a little more flat so I'm gonna pull this out and just keep working on this this way and it goes on really light especially if you only dipped it once but you can definitely tell that it's blue and then what we can do is just go back over with a flatter fluffier brush once we've um, actually gotten the pigment down and we can start you know tapping that into the eye to get the color to be a little darker, deeper, and more intense. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. I'm starting to like that and I'm going to kind of leave it less shaded on that top edge right there and more deep right there where I've already got it like to the depth that I kind of want it to be. Um, all right. So I'm going to repeat this on the other side. And be quiet while I do it so that you guys, uh, I can fast forward this and then I will meet you for the gold. Okay, here we go. Okay, and I did just want to take a moment to say, as you guys re may remember from my last makeup video, um, when you have hooded eyes like this and they're not even, you sometimes, to trick the eye with makeup, you have to go above and try to just match where the pigment is placed 
with where the pigment is placed over on your other non-hooded eye or less hooded eye. That's what I do to try to make them a little more balanced. And once I get this all filled in, then it'll look a lot more balanced. All right, continuing. So here's a good moment you guys I wanted to share again with you so I can see you might not be able to tell as much but this one seems a little bit higher like the base of it starts a little higher than this one so I'm gonna go back and go back in with this brush and just try to bring it out um, to where I think it really needs to be which is about right there and then continue blending this in <laughs> And now that this is pretty much dried on both of my eyes, I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to go another coat over this eye to really get that navy color to show up really well on my eye. And I also think this product probably would work better with just your fingertip, but to be honest with you guys, I just don't want to get my fingertips dirty right now. <laughs> so here's where we're at. Um, okay. So now I'm going to dip into my Medusa's gold, Golden Boy Eye Dust. Right. We need to get quite a bit going on this. All right. uh, so I've got that much in my pan at the moment. I'm going to try to get a little bit more out here. I'm going to take this Medusa's Eyeliner Seal and with this, adding just straight to the little lid, um, I'm just going to add one drop. Okay, so now I've got this mixed up and I'm gonna test it out by just putting some into the corner of my eyes. Yeah, okay. Ooh, yeah, that goes on really nice and gold. So I am going to gild out this inner corner just like that and I'm gonna kind of gently blend it over um, and just kind of let it fade in pretty naturally, um, kind of like paint brush strokes. Um, and take it a little further over on the top and let it dwindle down as it gets gets closer to the base of the eye. So it's kind of like that and it's most concentrated just up here in the inner corner and I will take a little bit around the inner corner of the eye too um, to start balancing it out. Kind of do it like that just leave well enough alone they don't have to be perfectly balanced as long as they're they go over the same amount and then I am going to go right under there and just I have to because my eyes are so hooded I'm gonna have to go over but I'm gonna try to just do like a half circle right over this area and kind of let it fade back so I'm just gonna roll with it, you guys. Like I told you, I didn't really have a plan when I went into this, but it's turning into something. So I'm gonna go and do the same process over here on this side. I'm gonna go back into this product and I'm gonna deepen up this navy blue to just kind of give it the cuts that I want and to uh, really polish it off. So we'll do that. All right, I'm gonna go in with my, what is this? This is the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara, which is a pretty popular one. Um, and I'm just gonna really get into those base lashes and try to get them nice and lifted. All right, you guys, so that is my finished New Year's look. I am gonna put a little bit of mascara on. And with this little mistake that I made where I got my mascara right there on the gold, I'm gonna wait till it dries a little bit more and then I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and just get it off. I'll show you guys right now so that it's easier so you can know. Okay, so this if this happens to you, all you need to do is take a Q-tip and very, very lightly just brush over it. I am gonna take this and I'm just gonna clean up my edges with the clean side um, and then I'll repeat it over here. I'm actually just gonna use this color. It is number 130. It is the color Self Starter, and I'm gonna put that all over my lips here. Okay. 
you guys. So there is my look all finished up and um, happy new year to you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this look and let me know if you try to duplicate it in the comments below um, or what kind of look you're going to be going for this holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you bearing with me through this long video as well. As always, I'm going to link every product that I use below so that you guys can get your hands on it if you so desire. And if you want to find out anything more from me or just see me in my daily life, you can follow me at Brooks Beauty Bazaar on Instagram or check out my blog, which is brooksbeautybazaar.com. All right, you guys, have a great new year and stay safe out there. I will see you in 2020. Bye.